In this episode of Let's Talk, Denise Baker, artist and printmaker, talks about how, having retired from teaching, she can now be more creative in her printmaking. Again, being positive, how how's your artwork developing now? That that you you mentioned in, uh, before the interview that um, you'd been demonstrating a lot of, of materials in the past because you were teaching, and now you have the opportunity to to be the creator. Tell us a little bit about the the different processes that you've gone through. One as the demonstrator, yeah. now as the as the creator. Well, what you know. I, I really I'm not fond of commission work. I like making art, and if people like it, you know they can buy it. But what I've been doing is I've been doing a studio sale out here at at my house. I just converted my garage into a studio, and I I've, I've done an invitation to come out and look and buy art if you want. But um, so I'm it's just word of mouth. Facebook book actually helps me sell a lot of artwork. Wow. You know. It's it's amazing, and I I just did a series called retirisms, and they were um, like fifteen woodblock prints, and the, one of them would be um, feed birds, write letters, hike, read, and they all had you know one or two words, and and I called it my retirism series, and that was really fun because I had just retired, and I always work in very limited editions, so I don't saturate the market, you know, I maybe. 15 or 20 prints from a matrix or an edition but um and then i do a lot of etchings which is drawing into copper a lot of dry point etchings of local landmarks like you know like our train station that you've been to mm -hmm. things that are nostalgic and people like to give as gifts and the etchings are very small so you know um so i i kind of do that and i do a lot of wearables like green print t-shirts and uh, do dish towels and, you know, people like to buy, but I just really like doing the traditional woodblock prints the most because it's a printing process that hasn't changed in thousands of years. So I really like that. Well, I, I've, um, I've started doing wood burning. Oh yeah. Uh, which, yeah. which, um, hang on a second. I know I'm going off camera here slightly, but <laughs> it's all right. It's a little bit daft, but there. Hang on. So I thought it would be neat to do a wood burn thing and then roll some ink on it. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's now what would happen if you rolled some ink on that and tried to get an impression off of it. I think you would probably get something because it there there is indentation into the wood. Uh, you'd also get the grain of the wood uh, uh, appearing as well. Um, but it would be quite interesting to see see how that would work. Um, you mentioned about the indentation that there is you, you are actually gouging out sort of into the wood to to create the kind of. Uh, uh, oh, what I'll do is I just. Oh push yeah, up. I know wood burning. I've worked yeah. with it. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. And, you know, and have like, have you have you done prints from it? Well, sometimes what I've done, I've combined it with a wood block, like where if I made a mistake and gout, I would try to, or if it try to get curves, you can work a little bit with the wood burner. It's nice. Well, what I I found what was interesting because I, I went I was going through a kind of process where um, how do you transfer the image that I want from uh, on onto the wood? So what I started to do was to to print out. Uh, on on paper, my image from the computer, um, and then I would trace it. I'd put a lot of graphite on the back of of the image, yeah. and then I trace do, it out. I and do the same thing. You do the same thing, and then and then I I would fine tune it with drawing because normally it'd just be a very rough sort of right. So I then sketch it out. But what I was finding with the actual wood burning was that the image became even finer. I could get more detail in in, oh, in sure. the wood burn, which was was amazing, and well, it's very therapeutic. Have, well, you have different points too, where you can get a nice fine line or or a thicker line, but yeah, um, it that that's great. And I do the same thing. That's like making your own um, carbon paper just by the graphite. Yes. And then I use a 
lot of times I paint the wood block white before I transfer the design. So when I make those first cuts, I can really tell where I've been and where I'm going. Carving wood blocks is like my yoga, you know, and I, and I, I can't even believe how much I love doing it because it's not easy. You know, it's, it's a real challenge, but, um, but it's very therapeutic and I really do. I enjoy all the printing processes, but the wood block printing is my favorite. It's probably the least detailed because I don't do engraving. I do etching, which is different drawn into the copper, but, um, but I, the wood block prints are just, they're just fun. We have more on the way, so please subscribe to this channel and check out the link below if you'd consider becoming a patron to help us keep making more content. Thanks for watching. Thank you.